I mean, just take a look at this. Look at the beauty and how many different coloured flowers and textures and shapes they're in. It really is gorgeous and the bees are absolutely loving it too. This is my little wildflower mound that I've grown. I put the seeds down early in the year and I just wanted to show you how much it's thriving. There are so many fantastic plants that are in bloom, such a mix of colours and textures, just all in one space. This specific wildflower mix contain 25% native annuals, 25% perennials and 50% low maintenance grasses that could be left to grow without any maintenance. All it needs is a cut in late summer or in autumn. The seeds can be sown in spring or autumn. Then in the first year, you see masses of colorful displays of poppies, cornflowers, chamomile, marigolds, corn cockles, while the slower growing perennials and these are wildflowers, they really do get established. In year two, many of the perennials will be mature enough for flowering and others will follow in subsequent years. If the grasses start to dominate, maintenance cuts can be carried out and this controls the vigor. Doing this, you might lose a few flowering heads of the wildflowers, but if carried out in spring, these additional cuts will benefit the overall display and always collect the clippings. Don't let it fall onto the soil, break down and create more food so the grasses start to grow vigorously again. Always take them away and put them in the compost heap. Not only do these areas look stunning, but they also attract a whole host of wildlife. And once flowering, you'll see and hear the bees and butterflies playing as they visit your wildflower mound. Over time, you'll see birds and maybe bats too. Positioning the wildflower meadow near water also means you might spot a few dragonflies and damselflies as well. There's so much to gain from having wildflowers in your garden, whether it's a large area or even a small area. They don't take a lot of work to create and maintain. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And for more great information, visit my website, daviddominey.com.